What's good, y'all? It's Case Through the Goat once again, giving you everything about Auburn football with Vernon Speak Sports. And all indications tell me that Malik Willis might be trying to get up out of Auburn. Well, if you really think about it, Gus Malzahn hasn't necessarily given Malik Willis like a strong vote of confidence during this offseason, especially with the recruiting process, our transfer portal, you know, kind of going after uh, Kelly Bryant and, you know, little trying to get themselves in the mix, possibly uh, for Jalen Hurts and some of the other quarterbacks that have been available. Just let's, you know, the fan base and kind of let's Malik Willis know that Auburn doesn't necessarily feel that he is the guy that's going to help lead the program moving forward. You know, if he was the guy moving forward, he I think he would have gotten a lot more playing time even in the bowl game. Malik Willis, when he gets in, he just doesn't give that feel like he's going to be the guy that's going to lead the team. Yes, he can run the football. I think he can run the run pass option to some degree of effectiveness. But what Gus Malzahn and the Auburn team is looking for is a high-level leader. And that's something that they tended to trust Jared Stidham in. And even with Nick Marshall, they trusted Nick Marshall. Even though Nick Marshall wasn't the best passer in the world, Nick Marshall was a huge leader and and he and the team had confidence in Nick Marshall's ability. I just don't feel that Malik Willis is that guy for Gus Malzahn. That trust factor is not there. Kind of like JF3 from a couple of years ago. The trust factor was just not there. Um, I think JF3 had the ability, but I just don't think Gus Malzahn trusted Nick Marshall's leadership ability. He was really big on Jeremy Johnson, but what happened? Jeremy Johnson, he lost confidence in Jeremy Johnson. It was all right, say the first half of the Louisville game was kind of all right his confidence level was kind of all right it started to kind of fade around the third quarter uh when he started kind of throwing interceptions and doing some erratic things but by that lsu game confidence was totally lost when he started throwing the ball back behind the back of his head and just making all kind of inexplicable mistakes down in death valley you know he just lost confidence in him and that's something especially on the sec level or any level for that matter The coaching staff has has to have the absolute confidence in the decision-making and the ingenuitive skills of their quarterback. I don't believe that Gus Malzahn has that for Malik Willis. Once again, it's Case Due to Go giving you as much as I can about Auburn Tiger football and the rest of the SEC. War Eagle, baby. Y'all take care.